All right, after almost over a week since the Oscar nominations, we are now resuming for the next three weekends for the movie awards season. This weekend is the Directors Guild, next weekend's the BAFTAs, and then the following week is the Screen Actors Guild, the Independent Spirits, and the Producers Guild. All leading up to Oscar Sunday, two weeks, weeks later, in the almost about a month or so. But today's video is only going to be about three specific movie categories in the Directors Guild. Normally, I would combine this with the other guilds, but since SAG and PGA are in one other weekend, and as well as the Writers Guild, that is obviously a post-Oscars award show, I had decided to only do Directors Guild just for this video. PGA and SAG will be combined with my Spirit Award prediction video in about a few weekends. Normally, these pred final predictions would usually come out on Fridays, but since the ceremony is going to be on Saturday, I decided to release this prediction on a Thursday. So, with that said, um, the ceremony will be taking place on Saturday with Jude Aptow as the host of the event. Um, only, basically, we are pretty much know what two categories is. Like, maybe the third one is kind of the most questioning one, and that is the documentary director. Um, obviously, at first glance, you would have to think either Madeline Gavin for Beyond Utopia or Davis Guggenheim for still a Michael J. Fox movie. Um, but since both of them missed the Oscar nominations, you're looking at either... Moses Biola and Christopher Sharp for Bobby Wine, The People's President, or Mr. Shinranfo for 20 Days in Mariupol. Uh, this is the one I think is obviously between those two, and um, let me see how this the track record for the Oscars usually go with this. Okay, so normally... Okay, so a lot of the times they don't match with the Oscar winners, so... Um, so, although I do think 20 Days in Mariupol is the Oscar frontrunner, I think the Director's Guild is going to pull a little curveball. And I'm going to say Moses Bayode and Christopher Sharp for Bobby Wine, the People's President. Because sometimes they usually either go with the runner-up, or maybe they could just go with one of the two original frontrunners. But I think it's probably... I'm going to say Bobby Wine here at the Director's Guild for to bring in a little bit of race for 20 Days in Mariupol. First time feature, we know it is the battle between Court Jefferson for American Fiction and Celine Song for Past Lives. It's just like which one had the more Oscar precursors, and I think it's without a doubt Celine Song, because she's been having that front runner like buzz for this award ever since the movie had premiered. Um, it, like I, Some of us had her in her director lineup back in the August or something like that. Some of us didn't. Some for other months, um, some for maybe hopefully a chance for our final predictions. But I think her getting the Globe nomination, like I think both of them are for Spirit Awards, but Celine Son also getting the Globe nomination also kind of puts her in a stronger basis because she was the because Score Jefferson was the least likely to get in for the Best Director category at the Oscars. So I do think Celine Son is the superior one to him, and she's superior to him. And then finally, for the featured film debut, um, I think this is Christopher Nolan easily. I know some people might be worrisome that there might be some voters that might be tired of giving everything to Oppenheimer, but if many people said Oppenheimer is um, Nolan's The Departed, that's fine for him. Like, I know there might be some people that say, because they snubbed her, why don't they give it to Greta Gerwig? That's just for the news media that doesn't understand how voting process works and opinions, so... Yeah, that's what the news media wants. They want Barbie to win the Directors Guild, but this is a different voting body. You're, the, vo the news media is not in charge of these awards. That's the voters and the members of the Directors Guild that uh, obviously we know for a fact act, the five of them cannot vote for themselves in this category. I think, I think that's a rule. Like, if you're nominated for a specific category, you cannot be nominated. Or, like, I don't know how the voting goes, but I think these five are probably not allowed to vote some people think, like, The Holdovers is still a best picture threat, but Alexander Payne did not get in for director, so that kind of is... I think Scorsese's the only person I can see winning this over Nolan. That's the only person that I can see this. If Nolan wins this, it's pretty much that, because Nolan has BAFTA easily. So, yeah, so my final predictions are Moses Bayola and Christopher Sharp for Bobby Wine, The People's President, Celine Son for Past Lives, and Christopher Nolan for Oppenheimer. So... That's kind of a quick thing next week. And speaking of British things, the Baptists will be next week.